Eight years ago, BMW was one of the first major manufacturers to sell an EV. In fact, the i3 broke ground by being lightweight, made of carbon and aluminium, and by being extremely technologically advanced for the time. But then things changed, and BMW, they didn't. Lately, the German company, known for its sporty luxury cars, and its ultimate driving machines has fallen behind in the global race to develop the next generation of EVs, said the New York Times in 2020. Now BMW is saying that they've caught up to everyone else. However, unlike General Motors, Volvo, and a number of other brands, BMW has not set a date for the end of its internal combustion engines. In fact, it's still betting on hydrogen. Unlike Volkswagen, it has not begun selling a full line of EVs designed from the ground up to run on batteries, said the New York Times only 12 months ago. However, that's about to change, said BMW. BMW claim they're going to release a range of affordably priced EVs. Is this true? Let's dig in and find out. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers to the channel and welcome back everyone else. However, before I get into this, in 2020, BMW unveiled new electric vehicles that it said Europeans don't want. Minutes after BMW announced it would accelerate its electrification strategy by two years at an event in Munich, a senior BMW executive has said that Europeans don't want to buy electric cars. BMW board member and executive Klaus Froelich said at the roundtable interview that despite BMW accelerating its plans for 25 new plug-in electric cars and one electric motorcycle, he doesn't expect BMW's electric vehicles will attract much, if any, interest. He said there are no customer requests for electric vehicles. None. If we have a big offer, a big incentive, we could flood Europe and sell a million. But Europeans won't buy these things. Well, the thing is, it turns out BMW were wrong, clearly. However, BMW went on to say, from what we see, electric vehicles are for China and for California. Everyone else in the world is better off with a gasoline-powered car or a hybrid. Now BMW is saying that they're dedicated to affordable EVs, says the CEO. I find this hard to believe. I mean, they're changing their tune pretty regularly. Now, BMW CEO Oliver Zips announced today that the German group will not abandon affordable offerings as they transition to EVs. BMW has been a luxury sports car maker for most of its history. Even today, the absolute cheapest BMW vehicle sells for around 36,000 US dollars. However, according to comments that were made to Reuters, BMW CEO Oliver Zips said he's dedicated to offering affordable EVs. He said, we are not leaving the lower market segment. Even if you consider yourself a premium manufacturer, it is wrong to leave the lower market segment. That will be the core of your business in the future. Now, I'm completely confused by what he means because, I mean, BMW doesn't sell any affordable products at the moment. I don't think they do. Uh, realistically, maybe he means the um, premium affordable EVs or something like that. I, I don't know what he means, but... Let's have a look at BMW's news release because the same exact day, they released the details for all of their new EVs. What he's saying doesn't quite match up to what BMW released, which was their new class electric vehicle architecture. The new class EV dedicated platform is a good thing because BMW's EVs are heavy and most of them, most models right now, are not specifically EVs built from the ground up. So they're heavy, they're not as good as a vehicle built from the ground up to be an EV. Scheduled to launch in 2025 with a compact sedan expected to be called the i3 and a sporty SUV rumored to be the successor to the X3, the new class is projected to make up more than half of BMW's global sales by 2030. It wasn't long ago, it was about a year ago, that BMW is saying that EVs would make up less than 10% of their sales in 2030. How long will it be before they say that EVs will make up 100% of their sales in 2030, like Mercedes have said? I think it won't be long. 
For the first time, the automaker has revealed some key specifications of their new class EVs, which will feature new generations of battery. They're actually gonna use 4680 cells, like what Tesla uses, and electric motor technology for a huge technology leap, said BMW's chief technology officer, Franz Weber. He told Car Magazine that new class EVs will feature a new pack to open body concept, allowing BMW to tailor make its battery sizes to fit any model by using round 4680 cells instead of prismatic cells. This will be doubled by the implementation of new sustainability measures and recycling techniques. Now, Tesla have copped a lot of heat from so-called battery experts. There's a lot of them in the comment sections on a lot of websites. People who claim they're experts in battery manufacturing that Tesla's miles behind CATL and BYD and everyone else. And why is it that if that's really true, BMW went out and did a lot of research and was like, yeah, actually 4680 cells, we're gonna use them in all of our vehicles. They're better for us than prismatic cells. I mean, if 4680 cells are so bad, that doesn't add up because BMW made that decision very recently. BMW will incorporate some of these techniques into the new class lineup of EVs. They'll range from one series size passenger cars. I'm assuming that's what BMW means by affordable. What do you think well, the price is gonna be? I don't think it's gonna be affordable, but we'll see. Up to big SUVs, like the full size X7. These electric vehicles will benefit from batteries offering a 20% higher energy density, 30% better packaging efficiency, and 30% more range, and will be up to 30% quicker charging compared to current batteries. So that would massively reduce the cost of them. I mean, if you're talking 20% higher energy density, a purpose-built EV architecture, 30% better packaging density, and 30% more range, then technically, these vehicles could be way better than the EVs that BMW are selling today, and they will have to be in order to compete. Now, in addition to all that, even better than that, is that the new cells are gonna be 20% lighter and 50% less costly to produce. Plus, they'll emit an estimated 60% less CO2 emissions during production. Now, you combine all that together, that'll approximate to around about a 60% cost reduction in the cost of a battery pack. That's what BMW is saying about a 60% cost reduction. If you're talking the same energy density, right? Because if they're saying the energy density is gonna improve and we equate that into the factor, we're looking at around about 60% less cost per kilowatt hour in the battery. That is astronomical. The combination of an 800 volt system and a high performance charger increases the range every minute by 30 miles to a maximum of 375 miles, Weber said. That means it will take only about 12 minutes to charge the battery pack from zero to 95%. 12 minutes to charge from zero to 95%. When it comes to power, the new class platform will offer power outputs from 268 horsepower. So the least powerful car BMW say they'll be selling will have 268 horsepower. The most will have 1,341 horsepower. With that architecture having four electric motors. That's gonna essentially be BMW's new M5, right? So will people really wanna buy a petrol powered M5 or a petrol powered M3 if the alternative is 1,341 horsepower and will be insanely fast? I, I don't think so, I, don't, I really don't. Now the other thing they're saying is they have these new motors, which are, well, if they're as good as BMW say, they're incredible. Most future new class models will feature rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive configurations with one or two current excited synchronous SSM separately excited units driving the rear wheels. According to BMW, SSM motors offer stable peak performance, high energy density, excellent repeatability, and low noise emission. Plus, they have 97% efficiency, which is a staggering number. Compare that to a gasoline powered car, which has less than 30% efficiency. Yeah, that's that's amazing. What about the battery pack capacities? Well, here is where things don't add up. Here's where I don't see how BMW's actually really going to have any affordable EVs. The smallest pack size is 75 kilowatt hours. I mean, that's significantly bigger than the pack sizes in the base model Tesla Model 3. The biggest pack size is 150 kilowatt hour. And that will be able to offer a driving range of 1,000 kilometers or 621 miles. BMW also say they're gonna improve the efficiency of their EVs significantly by giving you uh, different tires. 
They say they can improve efficiency by 7% by having low rolling resistance tires. These new cars, apparently this new platform will actually be shown to the public in 2023. We'll see then how good it is. And we'll see, I guess at the, in some point in the future, if BMW will really offer affordable EVs. Now, personally, do I think they will? No, I don't think they'll ever offer an EV, well, at least not within the next 10 years, offer an EV that's priced under 40,000 US dollars. But who knows? I could be wrong. BMW do keep on changing their mind. So who knows? Maybe they'll change their mind on this. But I do see one big drawback here, one big challenge. BMW still have to overcome this. They still are convinced that the cars of the future will be powered by hydrogen, not by electricity. And in my opinion, that is blatantly false. Maybe they'll just have to learn the hard way. Let's wait and see. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.